Hello, this is just a quick video showing you something I've been working on. If you've noticed I haven't uploaded any videos lately, I've been working on my website, both websites, Brandt Lab and Kids Chant. So today we're looking at Kids Chant, particularly some resources I've got to go with the Catholic's Latin Instructor by Father Caswell and Latin by the Natural Method by Father William Most. So one thing with the Gregorian chant and the whole traditional Latin mass, old-fashioned hymns and everything, is the issue, do you really understand what you're praying? So there have been so many different resources to try to teach people basic Latin with an ecclesiastical sort of um, slant. And, um, yeah, and these two are freely available. You can download both of them from the Internet Archive. I'll show you, yeah, this should have the links on the website. Anyway, let's let's have a look at this website. Okay, I'll just turn off my face. Ta-da! That's better, isn't it? Okay, much less stress. So, which one would you like to look at first? Let's look at Father Caswell's one, because that's the one I started with first. So, Father Edward Caswell was from the Oxford Movement in England a long, long time ago. All his stuff is out of copyright. He's translated lots of hymns, so if you look in your hymn books at the bottom of a lot of hymns, it'll say Father Edward Caswell or E. Caswell. And he also wrote this Catholic's Latin instructor, particularly for mission schools, for those sort of schools which wouldn't typically teach Latin from an academic sort of viewpoint. So let's have a look at the table of contents. See, there's only a few that I've got linked that I've really made a headway with. Part one is split into benediction, so the prayers you'd have for benediction of the Blessed Sacrament. The Mass, from a choir's point of view, so the Kyrie, the Gloria, the Sanctus, Agnus Dei, those sort of prayers that people are supposed to sing. Yeah, the congregation's supposed to sing too, so it's not just the choir. Then chapter three was serving at Mass for those who are altar servers. Um, yeah, so I'd like to have an example altar server just spring on the screen, but I think they're probably all doing something else. Okay, yes. And chapter four, various prayers and offices plus um, in two sections. So that's the part one of the book. Then part two has a short Latin grammar and then all this other stuff that I haven't actually really got into except when I'm looking up something in particular. So it's great for translations. It has word-for-word -word translations of a whole lot of common um, Catholic prayers. Okay. So, so let's see. What did I do with this? Um, yes, I typed up the preface so you can look at the preface. Um, I was, yeah, it's a mixture because I was doing this for my own kids, um, mostly in different platforms, and now I've ported it all over to this web page. Um, so in the book, they start with these lists of just separate little phrases. And then the idea is you learn those phrases. So one of the ways to learn the phrases is to look at the flashcards in this Quizlet thing. So you can click the card to see the definition. It's got in secular on the front and then unto ages. Oh, I see that's the thing. And then you must be able to click somewhere to get the next card, maybe. <laughs> Switch front and back. Okay, well, my favorite study mode, which most of them have been cut and pasted into, is this matching game where you see sine termino is without end, is without end, in says in itself, for us is pro nobis, in eternum is forever, de chalis of heavens, and supernos is upon us. And then it tells you how fast you went and can you do even better? Okay, but okay, so that's the Quizlet boxes which are scattered all over the place. Um, oh, that's right, and the translations for each of these. So I didn't go through the translations first. They're hidden in this little... Um, yeah, you click and the translations and it should give you the translations. And this is pretty much how they're written in the book, the word and then the translation. Yeah. So when you're finished with exercise one, you can go into exercise two. There are comments down the bottom, but I'm moderating everyone's comments, so that shouldn't be an issue. And I'm happy to take the comments off if it does become an issue. Anyway, exercise two. You can see these sort of lists of words. You might recognize them, so they might be interesting, but they're a bit dry. So Another thing I've got here based on Father Caswell's book is under courses. I've got Australian States and Territories, which is good, and Benediction. So it's based on the Benediction thing, but instead of going through those lists, those lists of words were based on bigrammatical usage. But here 
we go through the actual hymns that you'd be familiar with from Benediction. So O Salutaris Hostia, which is written out instead of being um, just printed like it is in the book, but I'm using a glossing plug-in thing to line them up so you can see vertically what word means what word. Now, the way he's got it in the book, when he's putting in the translation, he rearranges the Latin words so that the English words make sense. And it took me a couple of goes to realise this, and so I haven't been totally consistent. So um, that's another thing. If you notice things that are inconsistent, there's comments down the bottom, and I appreciate it if you can help me out with these. Okay, but that's getting ahead of myself. But yay! I may have gotten a bit of a reaction to the underneath one. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah, hereditary reactions to blastoplast or band-aids. Yes, okay. So here's the Quizlet thing again. You can choose match and then make everything disappear. Actually, I should probably go on to the other things, which is the quiz at the end, where it's this is a drop and drag thing. Um, strength is robo, openest is pandis, ostium is gate, and saving is salutaris. And you can check and then go on to the next quiz. So there's about 10 pages in these quizzes. Um, yeah, let's see. That all looks all right. Um, so it goes through the different parts. The Litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary is in several parts because it's so long. Um, yeah, you can navigate between different parts. Anyway, so that's that's under courses. So you've also got what I've got on Catholics, Latin. Yeah, and um, okay, so let's go on to the other book, which is kind of more interesting. Father Most was actually teaching in a classroom. And Circular Latin Resources is where you find the PDFs. The reprints by Mediatrix Press. I've got them in another tab. So Mediatrix Press re-typeset re them all and reprinted them, but they didn't put in the accents for the Latin parts. So you notice, let's see, in the first lesson, it takes a little while to load the... Um, as I did the Google Slides for the first little reading, you've got little accents. In any word more than two syllables, you should see an accent generally. So you can see fabula. I haven't actually put the accent in. Should, should it be on the first syllable, fabula? Okay, so Maria habuit parvum anium, or Maria abuit parvum anium, because um, I think you're not supposed to pronounce H on the front. Um, so the, yeah, the Mediatrix Press books... Uh, nice clean copies and they've got volume one, volume two. So they're the same things that you get from the Circular Latin website. This is a Circular Latin de Nouvelle France. Um, I think it might be Canadian then. I'm not so strong on French as you can probably tell. Okay. Anyway, you can get the PDFs. That's what I did and printed them out, comb bound them. And that's what I'm, I'm assuming you've got. So these are sort of supplementary resources. Um, it's um, Father Most was in America, so you have the first... It's not very much American history as far as I know, so I don't think it makes a huge difference. Most of the lessons after that are dealing with Roman history, which is appropriate when you're learning about Rome. Okay. There's the another Quizlet thing, so that's good. Here is a bit out of the book. Um, yeah, I was, for a while I was cut and pasting from an OCR copy and then putting in all the accents which is a lot of work but anyway the things down here with the Lumi heading I think are more interesting and took me more time so Lumi is a thing for interactive games I guess a bit like the Quizlet except it's more um, uh, more configurable yeah that's what I used for the quiz in the Latin courses benediction course so with this one Click on the word for who gets found, seen or had. So you're looking for the object of a sentence. And that in this early stages is anything ending with an M pretty much. So you go through, click all the things that end with M and they get highlighted a bit. And then you can go and check at the end and it'll give you a point for each one you got right and you can retry. Um, yeah, I didn't get very many right. So it says maybe have a think about this. Is that a... Yeah. So... Then for this one, I've got to have you completed this lesson. I think this is the only lesson I did. It's sort of over time, 
ran out of steam a bit. So it does have 12 lessons up here. I think I haven't done very much for lesson 12. Um, so, yeah, I might have to do some, yeah. After every four lessons, there is an exam, and that's where I've got a printable PDF. With the first one, so exam post Lexio Quarta, I did make it into a, a H5P is the name of the library, a, a Lumi quiz. So, um, yeah, this is actually where you have to click on the words and type in the words because that's pretty much the level that Father Most was out um, after in his, um, in his lessons. So, so does that give you an idea? Yeah, there's a lot of resources here. Um, yeah, and if I'm missing something... Oh, I like this. The Quinque Porci is the five little pigs. Um, you can see Hic parvus porcus fenit in forum. This little piggy went to market. Um, Fuit porcus parvus, true or false? I should have that vero or falso, shouldn't I? And then you can check and you get one point. And um, yeah, it's just things like that. So that's what I've been up to. I didn't do all the writing. It was more the translating it from the old WordPress format into the static website format, which um, I've been doing recently. Um, yeah, I think that's that's pretty much it. So kidschance.com is the web page. Um, yeah, I'll have to do a new post saying what I'm up to. I was using it for the um, gospel each, each Sunday. I'd read out that Sunday's gospel and put up the illustration from the Jesuit illustrated book from the 1500s or something. Yeah. Really old book, which is all in Latin as well. Um, so that's another thing you'll find on this web page, but it's not very organised yet. But because there's the same Gospels each year, it would be a really cool project to be able to do. So maybe that'll be next. Yeah, so um, see what you think. Is that useful for you? Am I missing the point or something? Or is this something you'd like to get into as well? Let me know in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Um, God bless. Bye.